Hey everyone, Jess Duet here, coming to you with a look back on our 2018 with uh, 10 amazing things that happened to us. <laughs> oh, you're kind of overselling it. Amazing 10, 10 things that we accomplished this year. Kind of a retrospective. She grounds me. <laughs> and then we each came up with three resolutions that we're gonna share at the end of the video that we came up with separately that we're gonna share with each other at the end of this video for the first time. So um, let's get started. Number one, we filmed our very first sketch mini series called Just Duet Goes Cruising. Yes. So I won a sweepstakes on a Soul Train cruise last January. That's hard to believe that was this year. And while we were on it, we, we filmed five or six little sketches that kind of form the story arc that tells the adventure of our time on the cruise. Yeah, so it's on our YouTube. Check it out if you haven't already. There's kind of fun little little things. What are you talking about? I think they're some of the best things that we've done so far. Number two. So we joined two bands this year. Yeah, uh, we started playing with a group called Mongoose mm -hmm. that performs John Zorn's Cobra, kind of like a big group improv piece. Yeah, it's, it's a game piece, which means it has rules and um, things kind of happen in the moment and it unfolds differently every time. It's very, very fun. So we've done three or four performances with them so far. And we also joined the group The Human Circuit. Yeah, they are a local Austin band. It's a lot of fun. We just played a gig with them at Central Market last week. Last Friday. Last mm -hmm. Friday. And we're going to play another one with them this coming Thursday. So Thursday, January 3rd. Um, if you're in the Austin area, where's that going to be? Uh, Empire, con Garage, and Control Room. Yeah, so if you're in Austin, I think it starts at 7. Yeah. There's some other bands on the bill. Um, find that event on Facebook. We'll have a link below where you can check that out. Come see us if you're around. Yeah. We played our first open mic ever at <laughs> Kick Butt Coffee. And so far only. We did that open mic at Kick Butt in order to hype our show at NMAS Festival this summer. Um, and just because we had never done one, we kind of wanted to check it out. You know, it's about what I expected, I guess. A lot of guitars. No other clarinets there, but I or mean... Or percussion. Not surprising, but yeah. maybe I would do one again in the future, but I'm not sure. So number four is almost all of the gigs we did as Just Duet were paid gigs, which is excellent. Um, we were pe featured performers at Classical Jams Austin, um, hosted at Batch every month. Um, we did another set at Me Mermo Mondays at the Bullstead. We also did a set at NMAS Festival this summer here in Austin. Number five, we finally performed Endangered Banana number three. Yes. After years of hyping it. If you were a longtime follower of our YouTube, um, we created a challenge back in 2016? 16, 17. 2016. 16, yeah. Okay. Maybe even 2015. I don't know. It's been a while. But we created a challenge. If we get 100 subscribers on YouTube, we would perform this absurdist piece, Endangered Banana, for dancing, vocalizing, banana, and percussion. And we sat on the piece for a really long time, so it was very hard. We didn't do it. And we finally learned it and toured with it, and we're actually gonna be performing it again next week too. Yeah. Probably the biggest thing this year was we recorded and engineered and released our very first EP, um, Things We Gone and Done. And it's available now on Spotify and iTunes. And CD Baby, basically anywhere where you can stream or download or buy music, you can find it there now. Check it out, we'll have a link below for that as well. Along with that, uh, right as we released the EP, we went on our very first tour that we organized and planned ourselves. So we went to Dubuque, Chicago, and Indianapolis, and hooked up with our friends there, and had a really great time. It was a, yeah. a big learning experience. We released a video uh, talking about our experience and tips we have for other musicians. So check that out, we'll link that as well. Mm -hmm. And if you join us on Patreon, we did a more in-depth video about our tour experience, um, available only to patrons. So if you are interested in some more content in that area, and then also some exclusive access to other content like sketches, um, possibly some additional performances, some other things on there, um, check out our Patreon too. 
Number eight, we met a lot of really cool people this year. On our tour, we met Rob Funkhauser, who's a composer in Indianapolis. Um, we met Ben Stein of the band Queen Cabbage uh, at the open mic at, mm -hmm. at Kickbutt. He was traveling around. Really cool guy, really good music. Um, we met violinist here in Austin, Christabel Lynn, uh, who organizes the uh, classical jams at Batch. Fabulous violinist. Uh, and we also met these other two great musicians, Paul Pinto and Jeff Young of Thing New York. They were touring this awesome, like, what, musical theater improvised, like... Spectacular. Sp yeah, this <laughs> show, uh, this political commentary type show yeah. at en Mass, And they were just really great, energetic people. Um, we had a great time talking with them. Number nine, our Facebook page finally reached over 400 likes. Um, and I know we haven't put out a champagne video yet, uh, like we traditionally do. We're trying to rope our 400th like into doing it with us. Otherwise, we may have to find someone else. Uh, or maybe we just wait till we push on to 500. We'll see. If you want to be our 500th like, please uh, encourage a lot more people to like us and then and then you can like us get, or get just, your grandma to like us or just like us now yeah if you have yeah if you have not liked us on facebook please do because we'd love a chance to do another champagne video with with you or whoever happens to be our 500th like um that's always kind of fun and last but not least on top of all these musical achievements that we did we also planned our wedding yes so that's going to take place actually later in January. I just finished the arrangements for all of the pre-ceremony music, the processional, the recessional, and actually for the ceremony itself, we are composing a piece together that we're going to perform with members of our wedding party. Um, so that should be really fun. And we're also being our own DJs at the reception. So we put compiled like six hours of music and ordered it all in these like you know thought out sets so hopefully that goes well i think it will i mean i love every song on there so it should be can't go wrong right yeah we're gonna have our dancing shoes on resolution yeah. time yeah so do you want me to start yeah you can start now these are these are resolutions for Just Duet in, yes. in the new year. Specifically for the group. Where we want to go. So I think we've, we've been talking about it for a while. Uh, we want to move in a direction where we are writing more of our own music instead of relying so heavily on composers to write for us. So I think a great place to start, I'm setting the bar low because I'm very much about like under promise, over deliver. So I think we should each write one piece for Just Duet this year. <laughs> That's that's actually like my one my first resolution. Oh, yeah? Just write more music. Get out of my brain. So <laughs> let's just agree that our joint resolution is to write one piece for Just Duet each. each. I think it could be fun to do it where like we don't reveal the piece to the other person until it's like pretty much done and just see like what kind of direction we each decide to take. Mine's gonna be a lot of um, body percussion and. Just like slap. S, S, but it's a piece where you just slap me for 10 yeah. minutes. <laughs> Specifically face symbol. <laughs> All right, second resolution. Um, I really want to record a music video for Endangered Banana. Um, because we sat on that piece for so long, um, and I just love it. It's such a cool piece. It's way out there, but it's just, it's really fun to perform. It's such a high energy piece, and I think it gets the audience really hyped too. Um, since so far we've only done it live, and it was specifically a YouTube, like a reward for a YouTube challenge, we want to post a video so that everyone has a chance to, to partake of it. My third one is, if we are in fact going to do a tour in the fall, which is still kind of up in the air for us, I want all of our materials and applications and whatever to be submitted and done before the end of January. Good goal. Because otherwise it's going to get put off, there will be no money left, and then we're going to be scrambling and I don't have time in my life for that kind of stuff. Ain't nobody got time for that. Exactly. All right. So my first resolution, obviously I shared that. Um, my second resolution, 
Uh, I would like us to get out and do more performances, but that's a little general. So I want to say um, if we can go out and play at three new venues. Did you read my my sticky? Okay. That actually was one of my resol. You probably can't see that, but that was one of my resolutions. And then I thought about doing a video for Endangered Banana, and I crossed it out because I want to do that real bad. I mean, and two that, for three on coming up with the same resolution. I guess. Uh, can we? Can it be three paid new venues? Yes, we want paid gigs. Yeah. Three paid venues. And then number three, I think it would be really great to take this year and create a new like full length show type thing. That's very ambitious. Not to be, not necessarily to be performed this year. Okay, that I think is more, more realistic. But like taking the year to actually plan something out. Yeah, we've had some ideas floating around. Um, I've even started sketching out some pieces for a possible new show. If you haven't seen any of our full length sketch and music shows, we've done two so far. We've done Shototype, mm -hmm. um, and we've also done After Dark. Yeah. Music and sketches for those are floating around on our YouTube channel, although some of it has been moved over to our Patreon site um, on Patreon. So if you've noticed that some of those videos are missing now, they are still out there, um, but we've moved them over to Patreon. The videos that from those shows that are still on YouTube are in playlists that are labeled on our channel. So you can search Shototype and you can also search After Dark. If you have any fun resolutions for the new year, music related or otherwise, share them in the comments down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up um, and consider subscribing to our channel. And you can also follow us on other social media. Links to all those are down below. We're on Instagram, we're on Twitter, but not very much. We're on Patreon for sure. Um, we're all over, so check it out. And also, you can see us in real life next Wednesday, January 2nd. Um, we'll be performing at Carousel Lounge uh, here in Texas. Uh, Austin. Austin, yes. <laughs> it's a big place, Texas. <laughs> sure there's more than one Carousel Lounge. The show starts at 9, we are on at 10. Um, but stop by earlier so you can catch um, Sarah Ann Phillips. And then also Try Not To Make Sounds is on After Us. Uh, so really cool stuff. It's going to be kind of more in an improvisatory, experimental vein. Um, so come check it out. We'll be playing stuff from our EP. And, stuff and Endangered Banana. Yeah. So if you haven't seen that yet, come check it out. Yeah. That show at Carousel on Wednesday is free and then also the the show we do the next night as members of the human circuit is also part of free week so no cover there either so check those out and uh as you celebrate um your new year's eve please be safe have a wonderful time with friends and family and we'll see you next year bye